What's going on everyone, it's Greg, back with some more Mirror 4, and today I want to cover uh, the Korean patch notes, and I haven't done this in a little bit because the last two patches before this one really didn't have much going on, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick, that would be September 1st, so on September 1st they got a, um, basically the favorite missions, which I believe we already have, um, we have some sense of favorite in the uh, in the new area at least so I think we got that at the same time but I'm not 100% sure um new looks like there's a new tower edit um let's see here oh no new mount they had a new mount on the first and then they made some changes to the Wayfarers Pass and not much else going on there they had a, a spirit was changed i believe and that was really about it i mean they had some events going on but there wasn't any major update there if we go back to the next patch september 15th which i didn't go over either um they did get some new equipment which you know kind of sucks that we we seem to not be able to get any equipment any in-game equipment like why do we keep getting you know we get some extra echo stuff but when we get some more you know Cosmetic things in the game would be nice. Uh, option appraisal system is improved. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if we got this yet or or not. Maybe could be coming in our next patch. But it was basically offering a different target on the uh, special appraisal. Otherwise, you could only do like SS, I think, was, was the target. Just improve that a little bit. And so here you can see some of the skins there. And again, not too much going on. They had an event. Um, change some item descriptions and a few other modifications so not too much going on there but I did want to go ahead and make this video today because there was actually a pretty significant update um, this past week and it, I say that with lightly because it wasn't huge but it is a big deal for the game something else to take up more bag space now you guys love to hear that let's look take a look at September 29th patch uh, patch notes the uh, clip notes version here tier 2 mana stone redstone elemental treasure has been added advanced to legendary advanced to legendary grades of tier 2 mana stone uh, redstone elemental treasure will be added treasure trove for registering um, things will be added so codex entries tier 2 mana stone redstone elemental treasure synthesis will be added tier 2 legendary mana stone elemental treasure transcendence has been added so we haven't actually got the transcendence yet, but there is a mechanism that allows you to transcend the legendary treasures and magic stones. So if you have a duplicate, uh, one of the same type, you can increase the stats on the other one. Um, definitely something to keep in mind. Like I know everyone pretty much holds on to the legendaries anyway, but kind of good to know. Like if you have a couple that maybe not be that might not be that good, and you might be able to fuse them in with another one. That is something to do with those in the future. I don't know when we're getting the update though. Uh, you know what? I would say it could very likely come at the same time that we get this update. And this could come fairly soon. But let's finish reading through it and then we'll talk about that a little bit more. Magic Stone Spirit Treasure Summons will be added. So they're adding the um, summons and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, 100 plus 10 summons will be added. And Chief Monthly Allowance event will be added. So... Uh, uh, the effect of somebody's mission will be inc oh interesting. So starting October, the effect of somebody's mission statement advanced will be increased. So I wonder if that would be higher XP, and I wonder when we would get that. Looks like uh, they're adding monthly attendance. Although I think we have a monthly attendance. I don't know if that's the same or it's going to be a little bit different. We'll see down below. So here's the details. Here you can see what the tier two stones look like, and don't be deceived. As far as I can tell from reading over these notes. You can't actually craft these. You can't make these from your existing stones. These are actually new stones. Um, so as you can see here, they're adding these tier two stones. Um, cannot be obtained by crafting or synthesizing existing tier one items. So they are a separate item. A total of 120 treasures that can be registered for tier two and the stones, uh, etc., will be added. Key note here: the they are they actually have them in all grades: advanced, rare, heroic, and legendary. So you can assume that. You know, the summons are going to give you mainly the green ones. You have to combine up trying to get the rare, heroic, etc. Now, you don't get any stats in these details. 
So, you know, how does a rare tier two compare to like an epic tier one? Um, is going to probably be the question. We'll have to wait and see. Um, you see here the crafting, like to craft a hero's blessed treasure chest two, uh, 10 legendary treasure shards, 500 soul stone, one meteorite, 500k uh, dark steel, gem gemstone hero of gemstone box of hero blessing two. I don't know which, what these augs have in them, but as you can see here, it kind of increases the materials need. You get the mana stone shard. Um, I'm not sure what the difference, you know, the translation here in terms of mana stone, uh, treasure. Well, no, mana stone is the stones and treasures. But then what is it? What does it mean when it says um, redstone? Not really sure there. Uh, tier two spirit treasures can be crafted through crafting, uh, treasure crafting and are not added. Why does it say are not added? Oh, tier two. Okay, saying there's some treasures that can be crafted through treasure crafting. They're not added to these boxes, I believe. Uh, unidentified mana stone elemental treasures added. So kind of like we have in the game now. This is probably what's going to happen with the summons. That way they stack and you're not just summoning bunches of stuff. Although, I mean, I guess, and then you could probably combine the um, the ones that are not, that are still sealed. Um, so that's that's the idea behind that we pretty much already have that with the, like the mystical pieces for example transcendence of tier 2 legendary mana stone and elemental treasure has been added you can only transcend legend legendary i feel like when we saw this note on global like they were talking about adding this last year and never got around to it i mean it honestly at that point in time it probably didn't make sense because there weren't that many things out there but i vaguely remember that you could do epic stones but i could be i'm probably wrong on that Either way here, tier two legendary stone. So once you get two of the same type, you can use it, feed it into the other one, increase the power. Uh, so you can see here, they add the summons for these things. Uh, synthesis, tier two mana stone, elemental treasure synthesis has been added. Um, so it shows you where the tab is. Unidentified mana stone. So again, so these are combinations. You can combine the stones themselves or the unidentified ones. Uh, similar to again like mystical pieces and some of the other stuff now character a penalty for characters with tendency less than or equal to vicious will be added can i enter a uh, vision i'm assuming that's what that says the disposition is changed from wailing to vicious is it means immediately moved to fierce okay i don't know exactly what the saying is probably got something to do with pk mode uh, and you know getting pk negative pk um probably understand this a little bit better when it does come to global uh they got some events here so again they say here new monthly attendance event let's see if we can see any details on this uh, let's see i think this is just our uh, the monthly thing um it probably would end up changing for us if it hadn't changed some already we got dragon orb summon ticket i can't remember if i changed take a quick look here uh, if I look at the attendance one, mine had actually recently reset, so I, my, mine didn't change. So I'm guessing they will be bringing some changes to this at some point. So that's about it. Um, not a ton going on in the Korean version. Uh, there's been no major updates in the past month and a half. Kind of like the biggest thing, but yeah, it's a little lackluster in terms of like what it means content-wise. Honestly, it's really more of another money sink, another way to use up your storage. Um, but of course everyone's gonna want the more powerful stones. So there you go um, Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you're enjoying the content Make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed to hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on I'll catch you in the next video